Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook Ads custom events, what they are, and how to use them. If you've never watched an Ad Skills video before, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you. So, in this video, we're talking about Facebook custom events, and these are signals that we send back to Facebook ads whenever someone takes a particular action on our website. What's important to note, however, is that there's two types of events. Standard events, which I talked about in another video. You can check the card in the upper right hand corner if you want to learn more about those. And custom events. Custom events simply are types of events that are not a part of standard events. So we just want to tell Facebook when a non-standard action takes place. So how do they make your life better? Well, they can give you better detailed reporting. You can turn these custom events into custom conversions, which are optimization points for your campaigns. And if you've got data populating on your back end, you can dynamically pull that information and send it back to Facebook. Really amazing stuff. So just explaining quickly, standard versus custom events. Standard events are events that Facebook has already pre-built and accepts on its own. So standard events are like purchases, or leads. Custom events are things that you can go through and specify that you want to track a specific event that does not fall into the standard bucket. To give you an example, if someone clicks on a traffic trap call to action on our website, we could send an event because we can tell people clicked on a link that was pointing to this particular URL and send back an event that said clicked on traffic trap CTA. That would allow us to see the number of people who visit a particular page, the number of people who clicked on the CTA, the number of people who've added to cart, and the number of people who, who actually ended up purchasing, so we could see that full funnel. A really cool thing that we can do inside of Facebook Analytics if we use these types of events. So why do we use custom events? Well, we in our business use them for engagement and consumption. So with our traffic, if we're driving people to a VSL, or we just wanna figure out how long they're staying on our site, we can go through and we use Lunametrics tracking scripts to say people have watched 25, 50, 75, 90% of our videos, or they've spent X amount of time actually engaged, meaning it's the open tab in their browser on our site. So we can go through and actually send custom events when someone watches 75% of our VSL, or they're on our site for three minutes or more. Little things like that really help us quantify the value of the traffic that we're sending. Is it people spending five seconds on the site? Is it people only watching 10% of our VSL, or are they actually getting deeper into the process? Later on, we'll turn these custom events, once we figure out which ones actually relate to conversion, we can actually use them as optimization points using custom conversions, which is really cool, but a whole nother topic. So really all we're looking for is additional context about the action. We use custom events to determine the quality of users that we're driving to a particular website. So what do you need to actually use Facebook custom events? Well, you have to have your Facebook pixel, Google Tag Manager, and a Google Tag Manager trigger point. So it could be clicks, views, percentage of view, time on site, etc. I'm not going to walk you through the details of how we go through and set up all of these tracking pieces with the Lunametric scripts. We do that in one of our courses. Right now, I just want you to see what's available and possible with custom events. So the steps of the process. You have to grab your Facebook pixel to determine the event you want to send, add the event code to the pixel, create the trigger inside of Google Tag Manager, fire that event, and then view it inside of Facebook. Now, I will tell you that whenever you send an event, you typically need to wait somewhere between two and four hours for it to show up in your ad account. Don't expect it to happen immediately. If you're not seeing the event show up in the first 24 hours, please come back and comment down below so I can help you troubleshoot. So let's head over to Facebook and I'll show you how to make this happen. Okay, so I'm inside of my events manager in my Facebook account. If you don't know how to get here, you're gonna click on the upper right hand corner, all tools, and then you come down here and click on pixels. So inside of here, this is an example account. I don't actually use this. But what I would do is I would come in here and this is the exact process I would use to set up my custom events. So I'm gonna click set up pixel. I wanna come in here and use an integration or tag manager. I'm gonna click on Google Tag Manager. And I do not wanna use the quick install, I wanna use the manual installation. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this. You need your base code first to know where you're gonna send their particular information. So I'll click copy to clipboard. I'm gonna come into my tag manager and I'm just gonna create an example tag. So I'm gonna call this JB Facebook custom event CTA link click. That's just an example. So what we'll do is I'll come in here in my tag configuration. I'm gonna use a custom HTML tag. I'm gonna paste my pixel snippet in here. Now what's, what's really important here is I do not wanna track page views because these are gonna be specific things. If someone clicks on my link click, I don't wanna send an extra page view. I've already got that showing up on all pages of my sites. 
So I'm actually going to remove this entire piece and move this down here. So what we've got here now is it says it's going to send a particular signal back to our ad account. This is our ad number. We just have to tell it what we want it to send. So we'll come back to our Facebook pixel. We'll come down here to next, and then we'll look at the event code. So this is these are the, the standard events. I talk about these in another video. Once again, you can check them out in the YouTube card in the upper right hand corner. But what we've got here is if we went to basic, this is how we send an event. So I'm just going to copy this to our clipboard. And what I'm going to do here is paste this in. And now all I have to do is replace this search. And so I'm just going to call this CTA link click. So now every time someone, when we put our trigger into place here, whenever someone clicks on this link, we're going to send a, an event back to Facebook that says CTA link click. Now, obviously, whichever link click you've got, you want to specify. So we could call this traffic traps CTA link click. That would be something that we can go through and send that information back. So now I just need to set up my trigger. So I'm going to come, come in here. I'm going to create a new trigger. So I'm going to call this traffic traps CTA link click. Man, I can't type today. Click on this and then go to just links. And so we'll use some link clicks. I'm going to make this click URL contains. And then all I'm going to do is come in here to traffic traps. So this is our traffic traps course. So whenever someone clicks on a link that's going to this page, we are going to have it fire. So basically click save. And now what we've got is whenever someone clicks on our traffic traps link click, we're to send a custom event to Facebook that's going to be titled traffic traps CTA link click. Click save and then we can go through, preview it, submit it and go through and it, within two to four hours we should see that event show up in Facebook. So if you come back in here, once again our events manager looking at pixels, we should see an event that shows up in here that says traffic traps CTA link click. Now what we can do with that information, well we could turn that into a custom conversion and start optimiz optimizing campaigns. If we've got a sales page that drives people down to a CTA link click that goes over to traffic traps, we could go through and optimize that point. That's something we call pixel funnels, different topic. We could go through and use Facebook analytics, which you can see right here, to see the number of people who viewed a particular landing page, the number of people who clicked on the CTA, and the number of people who ended up purchasing. We can look at the fall off between there. So a lot of really cool things you can do with events, both standard and custom. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the, in the comments down below. Or feel free to join us in Pro League where we've got a forum where we answer all of your questions about your particular campaigns every single day. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like more information about how to succeed with paid traffic, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified every time we put out a new video. Second, text Daily Edge to 44222. We'll send you a link to our daily newsletter, which has more than 20,000 subscribers learning about the bleeding edge information in paid traffic. Thanks so much. Have a great day.